everyone. Welcome back. Icon here. Thanks for checking out another episode of Esports Analysis. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down this very first matchup. It was this very first hard point on St. Petrograd between Florida and London. So Florida did go on to win this series. This was a phenomenal series. It went all the way until that last search and destroy. And uh, I was super impressed with those, those other two NA teams that we haven't really talked about all that much. Going into this, I had those four teams in that final knockout correct. So I had Florida and London with London winning. Then I had Minnesota and Paris with Paris winning. Just because those two teams, those two EU teams, were able to show what they were capable of at that last London event. So with this one, I was super impressed with what Florida was able to do. In my very beginning, in the very beginning of this season, in my preseason rankings, I had Florida and uh, Minnesota four and five. I had them really high. I was really high on these two teams. I put a little bit of value in the fact that London and Paris were able to get it done um, at that London event. So um, that's why my predictions were what they were, but I was super impressed with Florida. So as we get into the actual strategy here, I will say that for Florida, this was a really nice job of them getting time in that first hard point. That's something that a lot of teams have been foregoing. And I've talked about this a couple times on Twitter. Uh, if you're not following me, it's at IconNationYT. And essentially, if you're not going to be able to flip spawns on that first hard point, then you have to get as many points as you possibly can inside that first hard point. So Chicago made this mistake yesterday where if you're going to send all of your resources towards flipping spawns, you better flip spawns because if you don't, then you're going to be really behind the eight ball as it rotates from P2 to P3. So as you're watching right now, not only was Florida able to get a lot of the points in P1, but they were also able to break and now they're getting these points in P2. So I really like that play by them, just totally not giving up on P1 in regards or in favor of P2. Now, as we're about to rotate over to P3, on the other side of the map, you can see that London is set up and the looks like the rotations are coming in for Florida. Now, at the bottom of your screen, you can see that there are two... There are two members of Florida pushing out the back. We'll see if they're able to be successful. They do have to win two more gun battles. Um, they were able to win that, but their entire team spawned right there. Let's just look at that for just a second. So bottom left-hand corner minimap, I am going to go ahead and draw on this, but this just shows you just how sticky these spawns are. So it was a 2v2 back here, and essentially they traded out the one London Royal Raven player that was left, and then... They ended up trading that out, so Rated, Rated got that kill on Frosty. And then now, look at all of these spawns that are coming in. Even though they just traded out kills right here, the spawns are still coming in right there. And this is just, I just don't really like that all that much. I feel like if you win these kills this close to that back spawn, these people should be spawning out on this side of the map. I feel like that team has done enough to overtake that spawn location. So, um, I don't know. That's just one example of how sticky these spawns seem to be. But if you are Florida, however, even though you didn't flip spawns, you can still push up into this choke point. And every second that you don't allow London is a second that you are not only adding onto your lead, but if you don't have spawns here, then essentially, you're even if it's contested, you're doing your job because you're behind the eight balls that rotated back to P3 over here. So if you look at the top middle, there's only 18 seconds left in this current hard point. And at this point in time, not only is Florida going to have spawns for that backside, but they want to try to get as many kills as they can in the choke points. So if we're looking at the map, you want to get kills here. You want to get kills mid-map and over here towards ambulance. If you can cut off these three choke points, then all of a sudden you, you are super set up for P4. So if Dylan's able to sneak through here, um, and see, it, it, as you're watching the mini-map, look, this player is already through there. These players are already through that mid-map area. These players are already into blue courtyard. So if you're Minnesota or if you're Florida, yeah, you have control of the current hard point, but you just gave up a ton of map position. And now everybody is spawning right on top of the hill, right? So even though that they're winning these, everybody's right there. So now it's contested. It was just overtaken by London. And then now that, that spawn is going to flip. So the biggest mistake there is that you have to get kills in the upper part of the map. You can't let them go all the way back into your spawn before you start that battle. Because if you do, now it's flipped. And not only is it flipped for P4, but as it rotates from P5 to P1, they have spawns. So um, 
that was that was a pretty big mistake there if i was coaching florida i would tell them to try to get set up in mid map somewhere just because if you do that every time you win a team gunfight in mid map that extends your time in the current hill like 15 or 20 seconds so even if you lose those gunfights mid map it's not going to kill you because by the time you spawn back in, now you're just right where you would have been if you were pushed back further. So, a little bit of an error there, maybe just in terms of strategy. But, again, look at their lead that they have. So, just think that they gave up spawns, they gave up that P4 hill time, and they've still got this lead that they have. What is it, 70 points at this point in time? So, they're doing a nice job, even though they gave that up. Now, if I'm Florida, this could change pretty quickly right even though they're up by about 80 points 70 80 points they don't have spawns as it's about to rotate through p1 to p2 on the second set of rotations so right now if i'm florida you have to play the long game here and i think that's what they're about to do but as i go ahead and pause this if i'm florida i'm sending this guy into top blue to try to kill anybody that's getting the cuts over to p1 right we're going over here to p1 and then this person you're just playing the long game you're just flanking all the way around, trying to get behind bar. And if you can set up these spawns, then you'll have spawns as it rotates back to P2. Now, the one thing that you don't want to do, and this is what we talked about to begin with, is that you don't want to send everybody on flank, right? You don't want to commit four people trying to flip spawns because if you do, you're not going to get any time inside of P1. And I know that this minimap looks absolutely crazy at the moment, but you don't want to send any everybody on that flank. You just want to send a couple just so that if you're not successful, you're still getting time in the current hard point. So... As we're watching this, let's just see how the next 60 the next 60 seconds or so goes down. So, in terms of the first 10, London is in there, and they still have spawns. I'm just watching the battle on the back right-hand side of the map. So, again, 20 points have gone down. They have map position. Oh, and it just flipped. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead. I don't know if that was a good spawn there. Let me go ahead. Let's back this up. So... Right here, I'm watching the battle on the right side of the map. And as we're watching this, right here, that player is going to go down. So, right there, Dylan killed Skies. And then, as they spawn up, that's a terrible spawn. I don't know if you guys just caught that, but that's... that. This is so this is so frustrating to me watching this game. So, let me go back just five seconds so you can see this. So, this player right here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see who has the back spawn. So... I can't see exactly the number on this person. Uh, it's not showing up at the moment. But whoever this is for, it must be Pristini. He's the only one alive. So Pristini is pushing forward here, trying to pinch behind P2. As he does that, he gets a kill on Dylan, but then he's traded out by Jerd, right? So they get a kill right there. And then watch. So Pristini is going to go down. Jerd is going to get that kill. And then all of Florida spawns right here. This is just this is just terrible. This is the stuff that makes people question this game as a whole. These are the things that should be fixed. If you're thinking about it, look, London's in the hill. London's right here. So London should have control. Once they trade out this kill right here, they should have control of this half of the map. The enemy team should be spawning on the left side over here. And that's not what happens. Uh, man, I, I hate to see stuff like that. So Jerd is going to get that kill right there. And then Florida spawns right behind them. This, oh, this is so irritating to watch because you think about the reasons, you think about why games don't go the way that they should go. And that's, this is a prime example. So if London gets the last 20 some seconds that's in this current P1, now all of a sudden they're down by what, 20 points or so? And then if they still have spawns as it rotates from P1 to P2, now they're gonna get the majority of the time that's back in P2. So they're definitely gonna take the lead there. Now they're spawning out. They have to go through those choke points over by Water's Edge. And it's just gonna be, now their backs are just kind of behind the wall here. Now, man. Oh, this is so irritating to watch. Even though London had control there to begin, actually, so they're, they're doing a decent job of still getting these points. The only problem is that they're not going to get all of them. I would, I would be shocked if they're able to max out this time. So right there, London's presence inside the hill goes down. Mox gets a kill. Skies gets a kill. Havoc gets one. So the last 35 seconds here are going to go the way of Florida just because they got that lucky spawn. There was nothing else. Now, of course, you could talk about winning the, the, the gun battles after that. And who knows 
even if map position, if London was going to be able to win those critical gun battles going into the back of that hill. But that's, uh, if you think about it, that's a 60-second swing, right? Because when they took it over, there was 30 seconds left. So that 30 seconds that's going to Florida should have went towards London. So instead of it being 140 to 116, it should be 146, 140 as we're rotating back to P3. I just... I really hate to uh, I hate to see that it just it just doesn't feel right, but we can't really uh, I don't know we, we can't talk about it too much because the game must go on. So as we're watching this here, you can see that Mox did a really nice job on top of P3, just waiting for his teammates to come in, and now they're going to be inside the hard point and they're able to contest. And the only reason why that was set up was because if Mox was when he was sitting up at top hazmat if he just would have stayed up there then by the time he got down he probably would have been staggered so that means he was staggering his death by the time his teammates come back that just would have been a wasted death so that was a really nice job there from florida of just slowing down waiting for the reserves to come through and now if you're london you you have to push that last few seconds there so Pristini with a nice couple kills inside of Hill to ensure those last, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. I don't like that he left four seconds early, but it is what it is. As we rotate back to P4, you can see that London is set up. But again, this is exactly what we talked about the first time through. This is a terrible job. You can't just... <sighs> All right, so you're London. You have control here. You want to get this cut. You want to get mid-map cut here by BDOM, and you want to get Water's Edge cut. You have to block off three things. When this rotation came through, Florida went from here, ran literally right through the middle of the map, and they're already about to flip spawns. This can't happen. You have to have maybe one person. So if you're London, you have to have one person inside the hill, potentially one person watching spawns. So one person here, one person holding down spawns, this mid-map area, and then one, two, you want to have three people here. Even this person could even be here cutting off. So watching this sight line here, providing support to mid map, but you can't just let them run through the middle of the map. If you do, they're probably going to overrun. They're going to get those kills. Even if everything is traded out there. So even if havoc and frosty get traded out, there's still three more players there from Florida. So as they're pushing out the back, you can see that they were just inside the hill. And then look where the spawns come in. So now London is spawning over at P one. Florida is spawning over at P2. And now as this is about to rotate through, you can see that Florida is set up to go ahead and win this game. So we'll see how it plays out. But man, Pristini and Skies. Skies with a three-piece. Pristini is going off also. Um, so there's 20 seconds left here. I would be shocked if they don't get all of these points. So by the time it goes back. However, London did just flip spawns. Um, I'm not real sure why they got that spawn. It looks like they got flanked through the back. So one person rated was able to sneak behind. So as this rotates back to P5, London does have the spawns that you want. So as it goes to P5, London is spawning in the back so they can put the most pressure, the best pressure on P5. And if they're able to hold that down, which they're not, everybody flanked over towards the right hand side. Uh, a lot of this just isn't really making sense here. Let me break this down one more thing, just so these points aren't missed. I know a lot of people have been talking about this in my comments that they would rather it just stop than us go ahead and just force through this. So let's just see what happens here. Right now, if you're London, if we draw on the map, you have four players, one, two, three, four right here. And one person just came through and just died in the back. So London right now is super weary of giving up time in P5 as it rotates through. However, they're all going to push forward. So as we watch this, they're all going to push up blue courtyard and outside over here by water's edge. And as they do that, they're going to give up this back area. And as they give up this back area, essentially what's going to happen is there are still people from Florida in the last hard point. So when the guys from Florida go down, they're going to get this back spawn. And then they're going to have spawn advantage as it rotates from P5 to P1 to P2. So we'll go ahead and you can see... Look at all the areas that they're pushing up now that they they no longer have the right side of the map. 
as who are we on as pristini pushes through the back and everybody comes up now florida has that back spawn so they just got a little potentially just a little bit too aggressive there now they're going to be spawning out and if you're coming from mid map you definitely are behind the eight ball you really only have two ways that you can enter the current hard point even though everybody's in here you can easily be be pinched from l behind you so i would expect this to be overran by florida just like they did somebody's coming through with the pinch so look if you're florida the way that you want to go about this is you want to push through into this choke and you want to muddy it up right here on this bottom part of p5 and then you want to send somebody to mid map so that you can pinch them from behind and somebody in l so if you're set up here now all of a sudden you have this bdom sight line you have it pinched from the mid map cut there as it goes into P5 and you have somebody in the back. So if you're London, you had to be more aware as you rotated back from P4 to P5 that you still wanted to have that back spawn because now with only 18, 15 seconds left or so, it, this is going to be impossible for them to get through. We'll see how these kills end up trading out. It is contested. That's going to get traded. A two-piece. Pristini got taken out. But even after all those wins, so that's a pretty nice job there. Man, even after a triple kill from Jurd, it just it just doesn't matter because of the fact that you're being pinched from both sides. Those are fantastic kills, right? In terms of the kill department, you really can't do all that much better. But even though they got all those kills just because the side that they were coming from wasn't where you wanted to be coming from, they ended up giving the majority of that time. So as it rotates back to P1, Mox with a really big kill there on Jurd. He gets a second, and it ends up being 250 to what was the score there? I didn't really see it at the end there. 250 to 180, somewhere in there. But if you're London, it was just towards the end there, that last set of rotations, not being focused on the back as it went from P3 to P4, just allowing Florida to stroll right down the middle of the map. Those are all things that can't happen. They just really weren't all that aware of. So... If you like this stuff, let me know as the week goes on. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be breaking down all these matches. Definitely some search and destroy also. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like before you head on your way. And with that, guys, thanks for checking out another episode. We'll catch you in the next one.